Welcome to the series of videos on Pipe Network Productivity Tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, we'll discuss the Network Quantities Label command. The idea behind this command is to quickly gather the quantities of your pipe network or networks that are in your drawing. So immediately upon running the command, it analyzes your drawing to determine what pipe networks exist in the drawing and it itemizes each network individually into a quantities list and then it also itemizes each part within the network by the part size name or by the description and you can switch that up here at the top next you have the ability to choose to set how you want the pipes to be calculated from 2D center to center 2D inside edges, 3D center to center, or 3D to inside edges. Now some of you may be drawing pipes uh, and applying rules to them to adjust the pipe length to the inside edges of the structure and that's completely fine. That's really not going to make a difference on any of these values. These values get pulled from the actual pipe quantities itself so uh, if those rules are taken into effect it's going to grab the value right from the pipe. Um, so if you go into your pipe properties and take a look at these values here, this is what the program is pulling from. So whatever these values read is what's going to come into that quantities label. Next you also have the ability for structures to count your structures by part, size, name, or description. And then you can also count structures by depths. So if you want to count structures by depths, you can see it's already starting to do that. So it's counting nine structures that are between six and 12 feet deep. So if you want different values for your depths of structures, you can come down here to depth range settings. And on the depth range settings, you have the ability to enter in your range min and max. So it's going to categorize by each row here for the depths. You can add and remove ranges as you wish and then just make sure that you start at zero and end with a plus sign so that anything that's greater than your last depth it gets calculated in. And then lastly I mean you can see the list of information in, in this command that's going to output you can select this in here and copy it out to a Word document if you would like to do that. Or you can create a label in your drawing, just an M text label, um, and place it on a layer. And then your label style that you want to use for your M text. And if you want it in caps, and if you, you know, what the text height you want to set it as, create the label, drop it in your drawing, and there's some quantum quantities for you based on the uh, pipes and structures and sorting them by their actual part sizes. The last portion here it also totals all of the networks in your drawing. So you do need to be use this with a little bit of caution and understand what's in your drawing because if you do have existing networks in here and proposed networks, this total category is going to pull all that data in together. That's really all there is to it with the uh, network quantities label command. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and be sure to check out our other apps on the Autodesk Exchange Store.